guilty, uh, innocent, proof, proven, innocent, innocent until proven guilty, or sometimes still innocent. And sometimes still, Jeffrey Dahmer after proven guilty, sometimes still. But no, I mean, this guy's definitely fucked up out of his mind. Um, and I can imagine why he's there. <laughs> I can yeah, he has, yeah, dude. but you know what? God bless people like that. Man. We, we need them. There's one, uh, uh, when I was working on one job, as I was, I was getting ready to leave that job, there's a dude that worked fucking corrections that was trying to get me to go do that. Don't thank fucking God I chose not to do that. Golly. Yeah, I've been wild. So, dude, that's a like rough that. One. Yeah, I'd have to beat his ass if I was in there. <laughs> <laughs> you would be. <laughs> uh, oh, I wanted to look uh, this up. So, Tyreek. Yeah, because you didn't know about this. So, Tyreek Hill, guys, I got to fill y'all in on the 411. 411. 411. Yeah. Have you ever called that number? Uh, not in it's a long number. time. I think I might have yeah, when I was a, a kid. But, um, all right, let's check it out. So he has a little bit of a uh, issue here, a uh, little bit of a, we'll say, a, a domestic back and forth with his wife is what I like to call these. Uh, sometimes things get a little heated in the in the household. And uh, let's just read that right there. Police report details Tyree Kill's argument with wife, cigar incident. Read it here. This is okay. where he flicks a cigar. No, just to give you guys the overhead, I don't know how much of this I'll read because I mean I have a pretty good idea of what generally happened. Uh, but essentially, there was some conversation taking place about a post marriage prenup um, that Tyreek had, I guess, gotten some kind of uh, encouragement that he should have his wife sign, and um, he she ended up feeling like she was, you know, being bullied, and you know. He was yeah. being a little aggressive. Okay. Uh, and then allegedly he put a cigar on her face, not out, not out, but uh, imagine somebody putting out a not lit cigar in your face is how I've heard this described. So smushing your face with a cigar. Yeah. But not appreciate it at all. Not appreciate it. I do appreciate that. It's not lit. I will say that. But aside from that, yeah. <laughs> aside, from that aspect, <laughs> aside from that aspect, yeah. I would prefer not to have any, um can he stop can he stop can he just stop <laughs> please <laughs> for us fans yeah. please who love for your family who love please. Tyree. yeah first and foremost for the fans just, so. stop. <laughs> <laughs> just stop man like yeah like we're so close okay yeah. good roster right now we're so close we don't yeah. need this you okay? want to talk about some add-ons to the roster i was thinking about some of the subtractions that might be happening but, yeah, that, but those subtractions don't even matter at this point well i mean this one does which one Tyree Kill. Um, Tyree, a cousin of Hill's wife, told a, I don't think that'll work actually, the audio. This fucking thing pisses me off. Uh, told a 911 dispatcher she was on the phone with her when she heard Hill screaming at his wife at the Broward home. According to a police incident report obtained by Miami Herald, Vicaro uh, told officers she and hill were arguing over a post-nuptial agreement his divorce filing uh and hill removing her from his social media accounts the report says uh vaccaro told investigators she refused to sign the post-nuptial agreement it stated that she felt bullied threatened and verbally abused by hill she also told police hill smashed an unlit cigar in her face uh, the Dolphins players said he. The Dolphins player said he flicked the cigar, <laughs> but denied it striking her. Why the fuck are you flicking a non-lit cigar, brother? Uh, he'll acknowledge to police that he and Vicaro had been arguing a lot because his representatives advised him to get a post-nuptial agreement. The report says Davey police. Who are police, these representatives? Uh, the know, thought this was going to go stuff. over smoothly after all his shit. Thought this would go over smoothly. Yeah, well, that's yeah. interesting. Point. How I don't with know his history? That. How in the fuck did you think this was going to go? Yeah, yeah. Hey, brother, you know, uh, he needs a clean house, bro. His his his, um, his support is not a support. But go on. They're not supporting right now. They're not supporting. Sorry. No, it's all good. He's a grown um, man. He's just supporting himself. I get you. Davy so. police 
were called to Hill's mansion at Landmark Ranch Estates near Davie on January 30th uh, over a domestic dispute police record show. The call came the same day by uh, a Broward Circuit Court judge dismissed Hill's divorce filing. The wide receiver had filed for a divorce in Broward County weeks before, stating his two-month-old marriage to Kita Vaccaro whom he married in November in Austin uh, during a bye week for the Dolphins was irrevocably broken, according in uh, court documents. Officers didn't notice any visible marks on Vaccaro's face or body, and there were no signs of a struggle in the home. Uh, one of Hill's sons was in the home when police arrived, and though both Hill and Vaccaro said the boy didn't see or hear their argument. Due to conflicting stories and no evidence that a crime had occurred, no arrest was made, Vince reports. Says. Uh, yeah, I, I will say that, um, and I'm sorry to say this, but yeah. um, I, I do think that when there's no violence, like real violence, like arguing and getting loud and shit like that, like, come on, like, Sure, we we can pull the whole. Oh, but it's still aggressive, but it's not violent. And then calling the cops to where, especially like from my understanding, is somebody is supposed to get taken away whenever a domestic abuse is called in. So, um, for it to not be like abusive, really, I said like verbally, which again, it's not okay. But it's like I, I don't know, like like it's it's just bad, man. Like 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 all of this is bad. But again, like this is he surrounded himself with the people he surrounded himself with. He's the one that can't stop cheating and getting himself in trouble so it's like i i, I don't know man at this point i'm kind of numb to it all i just yeah it's frustrating how do you feel about tyreek as a player he's on a player on your favorite team uh yeah he's one he's of the a most fantastic player one of the most uh he's a fantastic players player of all time so how do you feel well i mean but how do you reconcile that is it worth it I've, as an I've, office fan i brought team? this up before i <laughs> i'm at the point where it's like i it as good as he is, is it worth it? Yeah. And it's like, I don't want to like, you know, say that and, and, you know, and sound like I want him gone because I don't, but at the same time, it's like, man, like, fuck. Yeah. Like, this is a lot. Like, and it's nonstop. This is two off seasons in a row where it's just like, like the entire time is us kind yeah, of focused on right. like your legal shit. And I mean, with this, with domestic shit, are you going to be around for the season? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, it's well, I mean, like, if it progresses, it doesn't. If it like progresses, this, but, but again, like, but like, like, it's just the why are we in this situation with you again? Yeah, and, I mean, and that's facts. And again, it's like, uh, do I think that his team, the people that are with him, are not really for him? Yes. And again, if if they ever got back to him, I mean, sure, you can argue that and say that. No, who what the fuck do I know? I can just say going off yeah. of it, there's always something going the fuck on. Well, but so how do you feel about the Dolphins supporting him? Do, you, do they hold any culpability here, like as enablers? As a barely, like you no, said, he's this a grown man. Thing. He's a grown man. Yeah, but this isn't the first thing. He hasn't been held accountable. Well, the, well, the Dolphins supposed to do uh, attach a coach to him, hold him accountable, suspend him. That's that's yes. Yeah, why not? But again, uh, sports, uh, we'll say this: be who you can afford to be. Again, there's a lot of leeway that comes. What do you mean being, by that? It's not money that you afford no, to that, no. Right? It's 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 leeway. Obviously, it's it's it's. Which the, that based off of? <laughs> you know, the 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 better player you are, the the longer it's that leash talent. is. Yes, and we all know the more the production. You being two thousand yard receiver, that's kind of a big fucking deal. Like like. So do you support the Dolphins overlooking that because of that? I understand it. Again, I, I can understand things without supporting it. I can sit there and stomach that I understand the, the way it well, works, I mean, but I well again, but it's your team, so do you support it though? You know what I mean? I understand you, well, again, I understand what's, you understand what's the what's the what's the alternative? You suspend him for what suspend games? Suspend him, you could trade him, you could whatever you make there's many you could if you really felt strongly about it, you want to make a principle. I stand, think trading him would be the, the money. Thing. I mean I it, think trading him would be the thing. You get you trade him, but again, you gotta get comp. Stand for Devontae Adams. Yeah. But again, that's you giving up on them. Which again, I fundamentally don't believe in giving up on people. Um, but again, it's it's tough. Again, he's he's put he, he puts them in a tough situation. And how many times can can Chris Greer, Stephen Ross, and Mike McDaniel take being put in a tough situation? Because they are in a tough situation, like you said, they're the ones going to be questioning that. Why aren't you doing something? Yeah, I mean, they're they're not of, his father. They're kind of looking the other way. But like you said, you say he's—they're not his father. If another player was doing this, I'm sure 
Like you said, the reason they're not acting is because they value his play. So it's not be out of like some moral stance no, or, you're right. or whatever. It the it has not they're not his father thing would be irrelevant if he wasn't so valuable on the football field. They would that's fair. What's yeah. your opinion? What's my opinion? Yeah. Um, I would keep him. I would keep him. I wouldn't trade him. <laughs> I wouldn't trade him. I mean, yeah, it's up. So for me, Maybe sweat. well, but well, but for me to be honest uh, with you, okay. I wouldn't. Not that I don't have an issue with it, but I wouldn't have much of a. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I would kind of view it as a little bit irrelevant. To be honest, um, the only issue with here, and I, and the thing is, this is where it's like from an ethical standpoint, I guess it is disappointing from the Dolphins because it does seem like the only reason this may be an issue is because it's a public issue, not because of it's it's just morally wrong um right. but i mean which again it's an argument let's yeah he didn't hit her okay he didn't hit her so let's, let's be clear about that let's, <laughs> nobody said again, that nobody said uh, that uh, no, nobody's perfect okay everyone gets too oh, where's the article wow i wonder if, thank you for saying that Jaden space i wonder if they were able to shut down the article in some way let me just i'm gonna just article. just for shits and gigs while i was sharing uh a police report I was sharing a police report and then it stopped showing it. Oh, interesting. But maybe it wasn't showing it the whole time. Uh, thank you for that, though. I appreciate it. Um, so th I say post marriage prenup is too late. Yeah, way too uh, late. It should be pre marriage or I'd say hell no. Sorry. So, yeah. Sorry that you want to divorce me now. Yeah, <laughs> plus, not even post marriage. It's like during divorce. Yeah, like I want to divorce you, by the way. Sign this. Yeah, his his team must have been like, "Hey, if your wife is stupid enough to sign this That's shit, what I'm saying. yeah, his then team uh, is bad." Yeah, well, they they were trying to exploit her, him. probably, or maybe he doesn't uh, listen. He goes, "I'm doing a lot." Well, you know what? It probably was. It, so this is completely speculative, obviously, but um, it may have been a situation where, to be honest, his team was like, "Hey, go in there." And whether it was like literally said this or not, but emotionally manipulate her. Like, hey, baby, we need to work this out, da, 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 but just for me to feel more comfortable. It probably wasn't like as simple as we're getting divorced. I need you to sign this oh, paper. I know, but kind of fuck you over. Again, it anybody with a like, brain puts it together that way, though, right? And she did. And right. she was like, fuck you. I'm not signing that. Right. <laughs> Only a fool yeah. would be like, oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Hey, man, what, what, what perfect timing for this. Oh, my God. You're right. You feel so much more secure yeah. if I just... Yeah, get out of here. Right? Well, I mean, instead she said she felt threatened. So how he many? Was like, hey, I will fuck you up if you don't. Like, this. How many? Uh, how many women are having your baby right now? Don't we oh, have yeah, some yeah. baby showers to get to? Yeah, <laughs> some birth to it then. Yeah, that's craziness. Yeah, yeah that's like, craziness. come on, bro. Like, like, yeah, like he's like, got a lot like, of shit going that's on. That's where it's like, come on, man. It's actually very impressive though how good he's been able to play through all this. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> the drop started happening. When? Imagine if he was truly locked in. Um, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Devon too. And also, Tua, uh, you want to pray with your fucking boy over there? What the fuck's going no, on? I mean, he says who is supposed to cuss them out more. And it's like, bro, like, do you really want Tua to be someone he's not, though? Yeah. Would you respect him coming and be like, yo, catch the fucking ball? And you're like, bro, Tua, you don't talk about this. Yeah, you don't talk like this. Also, Tua, uh, talk to this guy about fucking having one wife, um, yeah. one kid. Uh, either way, look, I fuck with, <laughs> I fuck with Ty Ty Tyree, bro. You're dope, bro. <laughs> like, like, cool guy and shit. I, I disagree with, 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 with how you handle your marriage. I, I handle mine yeah. much differently than you. But hey, hey but that's, hey, that's, that's, that's not that's, that we're not the same. That's each of our right, by the way. That's and, it. And you're trying to injure. So you're, you're obviously recognizing that. You're like, yeah, this is not right. He's so, he he's taking the Nick Cannon approach, man. You know, you gotta spread the seed. Spread the seed on fertile. Spread the seed. On fertile land. Land. That's it. Yeah. 